Christmas tree. Christmas tree that yes. could be hung. Yes, oh. ma'am. And I you've quilted all that? I have. You say you use it for a pillow too? A pillow or a tree. And on the back you got a little hook fixed. Yes. I think it'd be beautiful hanging at Christmas. Yeah, I think it's nice hanging it. Now let's see the big wreath. <laughs> and these are the wreaths. I have them in red bows, and they also have a hanger on the back to uh, hang up. Goodness, that's big and fat. You stuffed that tight. <laughs> yeah. That must have been hard to do. How'd you learn to do this? Well, uh, I uh, babysit, and so this lady just brought me the pattern and showed me how. Uh huh. And so you got it. Well. And on the, in addition to all that, you make all make these all jellies? Make all the jams and jellies. Now, what's this one? This is heavenly jam. It's uh, strawberries and pineapple. Ooh. It's very delicious. Gee, it's the color of strawberries all right, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that looks good enough to eat. And then, then another one? That's corn cob jelly? That's corn cob jelly. And this is an old family recipe that we've had in the family for years. Oh, my. Well, I can't even imagine what that tastes like. Like apple. <laughs> like apple. Oh. And one more that's interesting in the little jar. What's this one? This is hot pepper jelly. It's uh, made out of uh, re uh, red hot peppers. And is it then, hot tasting? Yeah. What do you do with it? Uh, eat it with meats oh. or uh, cream cheese and crackers. Oh, I see. Well, thank you for letting us talk to you, and thank you for letting me wear this well, lovely well red done. bonnet. <laughs> Helen Anglin from Burnsville, and I hope you hear many more fans. Well, thank you. This is Ed Brinkman, and Ed, where are you from? I'm from Burnsville, North Carolina, right here in town, but my studio is just out of town. But you've got an accent that doesn't belong around here. No, originally from Michigan, but I... Uh, came down because of Penland School of Crafts. I was a resident craftsman there. At Penland, at Penland School, School you taught Crafts. then? Yeah, well, the, I was uh, working there as uh -huh. a resident craftsman. I met my wife there, and so we moved down. And so now you're a North Carolinian. It. Yes. That's good. Well, this is the most unusual and beautiful craft you do. Would you tell us about it? We might as well start with this uh, piece. All right. This is a porcelain clay, and uh, you roll the clay out like pie crust with a rolling pin. You put leaves down onto the surface and roll over it and that brings out the fine little vein-like effect that the leaves have. And then shells, sea urchins, various tools are used, dental tools and other tools pressed in to uh, give it a little more variation than just the shell decoration and arrange it in sort of a floral arrangement. And then paint? Paint it with uh, coloring oxides. The coloring oxides as they're used in other ceramic ingredients or also in paints but it fired at about 23, 2400 degrees Fahrenheit, so it becomes just like a glass. Uh -huh. It's a uh, very hard. Uh, the porcelain clay is a white clay body. It's uh, not a natural clay body. It's usually mixed with feldspar, kaolin, and flint, which are mined around in this area. It's a man-made clay well, body. Now, this one, oh, we have a truck going by. <laughs> This one you've made into a mirror, but also it's a different looking material. Yes, it's a stoneware clay body. It's the buff leathery clay, and using porcelain on the surface, uh, these small amounts of porcelain uh -huh. brings out the white uh, colors onto the surface so that you can bring out the better color. Well, I wanted to ask you about this because I just don't see how you get anything that thin, and, uh, and still it's open all the way. <laughs> it, it again is rolled out like pie crust with a rolling pin, and a uh, piece of clay put on the bottom, and you pinch the two sides up on the, on the sides, and pinch it out of the top. It's very soft. It's like pie crust and dough and you can just manipulate the clay and various things. And, uh, again, using the shell uh, motif. Yeah, I'm glad sea you use shells. That's thin. some of my favorites. See, oh. i got seahorses here. Now, the bells. The, the, those the, the bells uh, give quite an interesting effect, quite an effective oh, effect to various clay. And again, you decorate them by putting various little details in the surface. And it, they're thrown on a potter's wheel, a little bowl-like effect, and then inverted to make the bell. And the decorations are pushed in. Quite often, the fingerprints end up on the inside in the soft clay. And what are the little clappers made of? Are they the clay? clappers are also made of clay, and the little clay beads, which string the bells together, uh, unifying the de decoration and also kind of protect the string from the wear. Oh, that's very so, interesting. Yeah, quite effective. Well, we're glad to have you in North Carolina with your beautiful craft, and thank you for listening. Well, thank us you very much. I really enjoy it. It's a
Well, I've had apple butter that I bought at the store, but this is the first time I've ever seen any cooking. Gotta have a little taste and see how it is, too. It's hot, I'll tell you that. Mmm, that's coming long, but it's gonna cook down a whole lot. Let's go back in. Talk to Miss Bertha Bird, cause she's the expert on this thing. Bertha, how long does this have to cook? Well, we put it on a little after eight this morning, and it'll be around four again. Around four o'clock. To done and come yeah. back. You live around this part up here? No, I live uh, down at uh, on the river down at Green Mountain. Green Mountain. What county is that in? It's, it's in Yancey County. Still in Yancey County. Still in Yancey County. <laughs> Uh, maybe we better get your husband to fix up the fire a little bit. Mr. Fix Bird? up the fire a little bit. Fix Work up the fire, fire for us. We got to keep that apple butter going. Do you make apple butter all the time or you have to make it when you got apples during the fall or when yeah, do you make apple you butter? You have to make it while the apples are in. Yeah. And when you can it up, uh, do you can a whole lot for us? Yeah. You, I can't. Make this fall can up enough and have apple butter to do the apple butter making time again. What can you do with apple butter besides just eat it on a hot biscuit? Can you do anything yeah. else with it? Oh yeah, you can make that, what they call apple butter cake out of it. Oh, that it between, sounds good. Between cakes, it, it, it's real Kinda good. Kind of make the filling. It, yeah, make the filling out oh, of apple like butter. Oh, like a jelly roll yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. You can make applesauce. You should just play applesauce. You can make mm -hmm. applesauce cakes that will cakes out of applesauce. Same sort of real thing. Good. Well, that that old line pot been with you a long time. Uh, well, the pot I've got has a. Uh, uh, this is not my pot. Oh, you I borrowed this? I wasted a whole lot last year. Mine's just a ten gallon, and I borrowed my neighbor's is fifteen gallons, so I could make more oh, this year. This is the way you fix it if you're going to sell it. Is that right? Yes, that's the way I fix it. Oh, well, now that that's really it. looks pretty. That that's sell good it. looking. I bet at home you don't put it in little jars, do you? Huh? Yes, just me and my husband and I put That's it in... That's all left at yeah, home? Yeah, it's all there is at home. We just had two children and they're grown and married and got children. Oh. So I put what I am for us to eat little cans out of way and if I, I put, uh, fill some quarts and pints to have to open when the grandchildren and the children all come. Do you like to come to this yeah. fair? Yes, I do. How long you been coming? Oh, we've been coming to the fire for seven or eight years. <laughs> <laughs> and every year do you yeah. make apple butter? Well, last year was the first year we'd made apple butter at the Well, fire. that's sensational because nobody yeah. much has seen apple butter being made. I it was know. nice to visit with you. Huh? It's nice fun to, to talk to you. It's nice to have you, too. I don't know, James, he just got at us last year wanting us to make a run and got us into it. <laughs> Bertha and Charlie Bird from up here around Burnsville. And she's busy with a long, long spoon type thing, <laughs> making apple butter. 